back to God's guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to God's guidance. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. Oh yes, let's get into it, okay? Um, so yeah, let's tap right in. As I was meditating on the energy, this song popped in my head and I wanna play a little bit of it. I wanna play the whole thing, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel as the song goes on. But as you guys, well, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I have a, a Christian background. I woke up in 2020, woke up in 2020. I had my spiritual awakening and my life completely changed. And from 2020 on, I uh, left the Christian faith and went on a spiritual journey to finding myself and my true purpose. And, you know, this is what I was led into. Um, and sometimes, <clears throat> I was gonna explain this after the song, but I'm gonna say it before. I asked mother, like, why did I have to go through that? Like, you know, I was a Christian for 32 and a half years of my life. So why did I need that? And it was automatically, you had to understand the heart of Christ. And not so much have the heart of Christ to understand your heart, because the heart of Christ is your heart. See, you, you, you needed to understand why you had this heart and Christ was the perfect model. <laughs> See, you know, we all have purpose. We all have destiny. And a purpose really is to find your true self. And once you do that, you, you'll really find what you're, you were put here to do, but it, it all comes down to the heart that you carry. And this song I'm about to play, I remember playing this song crying like on my way to Brooklyn. I used to travel back and forth to Brooklyn a lot. I had rehearsals, Bible studies and stuff like that. But I just remember playing this song and crying because this is the heart that I truly have and I and yeah, I don't I don't so as I was tapping into the energy, that was the first thing. So then I played it because I haven't heard it in years. And uh it did something to me. So I'm gonna play a little bit of it. And then we're gonna tap into the to the energy and see what mother is saying. But I think she's saying something with this, so and Another thing before I play the song, because it is a it is a gospel song, so you know it's a, a Christian song, so it's uh has a lot of Jesus references. Understand that Jesus, you you are the Christ coming into you know who you are and coming into that Christ consciousness, you you know that you're you're Jesus. So when in the Bible when he said me and my father are one, it's like he understood his connection with God, just like you need to understand your connection with God. So when I listen to this song now, it's not so much me giving reverence and, and praise to a Jesus. I'm, you know, singing this to mother, saying this about mother, like the heart of of nature, the heart of, you know, the womb. So just to clear <clears throat>
Okay, so that was Kevin LeVar, A Heart That Forgives. And yeah, let's just stay there for a second because I feel like somebody is either seeking forgiveness, like they want to be forgiven somebody needs to learn how to forgive they need to learn the under like the 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 understanding the wisdom behind forgiving mm. see the more the, the 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 higher I go along this journey the more I love the fact that I grew up in Christianity because one thing about me was that I, I've always been a loving, kind, high energetic, you know, always there for people, always, you know, the life of the party. Like I was always you know, even very connected to my, you know, I, I, I was a, a licensed minister. Like I, I really, I went to Berkeley College of Music and I got deeper into my, you know, Christian walk when I seen so many kids doing it. And, and my, my life just had a lot of changes, but Christianity played a major role. And I just loved the teachings as far as what Jesus was trying to get across was trying to show people how to really love. And a lot of people right now are stuck because their heart chakra is so blocked. And it's because they don't understand forgiveness. Got it, mother. Let's go. Let's go, G3. The heart chakra, somebody's heart chakra is so blocked off. And this weekend, Mother is saying, in order to free this heart of yours, because it's trapped, it's locked, it, you, you, you got it buried, buried. Oh my gosh, you have to forgive mommy. You have to forgive daddy. You, you, somebody has to forgive grandma. Somebody has to forgive aunties and uncles, all from childhood things like your heart is so burdened with 
unforgiveness that it it just can't be free like you, you it's like it it, it it can't be freed until you take action somebody has a broken heart they're still so angry about something you still so angry about something from your past and you haven't let it go you think you have but you haven't and it is controlling every action of yours to this day i don't care how old you are watching this video listen we've all been through some things that we had heart a hard time letting go a lot of people are still in that energy and that's okay you want to know why because you're here right now understand that, that mother sees you yeah you, you, you're seen. You think that you're not seen. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, I feel it. I feel it. Somebody think that they're not seen. Like you, like you, like your your words falls on deaf ears. Like mother doesn't take heed to your tears. Oh, somebody is feeling like they are always left out or getting the short end of the six. Somebody here is just dying to be seen. And I'm here to let you know, I don't care if nobody around you sees you. Mother sees you. She sees the broken parts of you. She sees that broken heart. She sees how unforgiveness is still is still a blockage in your life you have to learn how to forgive before see see whoo! oh are y'all with me before before <laughs> you were trying to forgive people but it wasn't working nothing was working you thought that you forgave people you probably right now feel like you forgave this person you forgave that person but you're still holding on to some type of pain i'm telling you when you hold on to the pain understand you're not you're not freed from that situation. You have still, you're still holding on to something. There's still some type of unforgiveness about it. You think that forgiving other people or forgiving the person is how you truly forgive somebody. See, we don't understand the wisdom behind forgiveness. The wisdom, the wise, what's going on with it. Somebody doesn't understand. See, you understand the tree of knowledge aspect of forgiveness, but somebody doesn't understand that tree of life, that wisdom aspect of forgiveness. You cannot and you will not forgive anything outside of you if you have not forgiven yourself. Somebody here is still holding on to mistakes that they have made. Ah, you're still holding on to the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. I shoulda did this better. I shoulda, I shoulda did that better. I shoulda went that way. I shoulda went this way. You're still talking about all your shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You're talking about the past. You haven't forgiven yourself for making foolish decisions from your past. You're still holding on to those decisions that you have made that led you into some destructive patterns. But guess what? You've learned lessons. You got to learn how to forgive yourself. You got to learn how to see 
it from a different perspective. You got to see everything that you have done from a different perspective. No, you didn't do it wrong. And even if you feel like you did it wrong, next time, just do it right. It's not to dwell on the wrong, it's to change and do it right. But we get so caught up in dwelling on the wrong that we don't have time to figure out, oh, all I gotta do is do it right. We all about the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You gotta get up out of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Forgive yourself. Yes, we all make foolish decisions. Paul talks about it. He said, when I was a child, I thought like a child. I walked like a child. I spoke like a child. But when I, when I became an adult, I had to put childish things away. See, at the end of the day, you think adulthood has something to do with age and it has nothing to do with age. Adulthood has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with your level of consciousness. Whoo! <laughs> she talking tonight. I knew it though. I felt it. I said, oh, this is, this is, this is about to get real. This weekend energy is about to be real. Okay. I'm with it though. I love it. I want all the smoke. <laughs> I want it all, baby. Okay. I want it all so I can give it all to you, right? So, bam. <sighs> what was I just saying? It doesn't matter. You got the message. <laughs> Understand that forgiveness starts with self. You have to forgive yourself for the decisions that you have made and move forward. Paul said, when I thought, when I was a child, I thought like a child. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Ah, the level of consciousness. I'll get it. I'll get it back. Don't get it twisted. The goddess will get it back. <laughs> Age has everything to do with your level of consciousness. So people are still at an old age with childish ways because they're still thinking like a child, but it's because they haven't learned to forgive themselves. They still are holding on to trauma and things that people have done to them, not understanding that it, you can't truly forgive anybody outwardly until you forgive, until you're able to forgive yourself. You didn't make wrong decisions. I don't believe nothing happens by accident. Everything happens for a reason. Even when we don't feel like we're on our path or we're on our journey, we are. I'm, I'm living proof of that. I'm living proof of that. Even when you feel like you're not on your path, you are. Doesn't matter what no anybody outside is saying. If I would have went by anybody's standards as to how I was supposed to live my life, I wouldn't be here right now talking to you guys, talking to my family, my G3 family. I love you guys so much. We small in numbers now, but baby, I see us growing, growing. So at the end of the day, ah. For everybody that is rocking with me from day one, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. You are truly all I got. And we taking this to the tizzy, baby. <laughs> to the top. So, you can't listen to outside influences when it comes to your life. You got to learn how to trust yourself and love yourself. And forgive yourself. You didn't make wrong decisions. You didn't. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. So you can be right here. Right now. Ready. Ooh, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Ready to go after your goals. Mm. Ready to embrace your inner gypsy. Mm. Right here. Ready to open up to love. Uh, that's it. Little cards. That's the energy. 
That's the energy. See, all of those decisions that you made made you a made man. Even if you don't feel like it, you are. Everything that you have been through taught you how to be kind. Everything that you went through taught you how to truly be loving. See, everything that you went through was teaching you how to truly have this heart of Christ. The heart of Christ understands that it has to be able to forgive for self and then the people around you. You got to be able to forgive yourself before any outward forgiving is ever possible. This is why you think you forget you forgave somebody or is that forgiven? Is that even a word? Listen, I will make up a word in two seconds. You think that you have forgiven somebody and you haven't because you're still holding on to shit that you haven't forgiven. And excuse my language. If that bothers somebody, I might slip up sometimes. I do. But it's time for you to get over this hump. It's time for you to under to see what the, the blockages were. See, somebody was was doing heart chakra meditation, trying to understand what is the blockages, why what is stopping me, what what is why do I feel fear for, to to moving forward? Somebody is scared about moving forward because it's open to love. It's here. Somebody's scared about moving towards a relationship or moving towards something, but but it's because of these heart blockages. Somebody is, is scared to embrace this inner gypsy. Somebody is scared to be free. Somebody is scared to have fun. Somebody is scared to truly tap into some type of musical talent, okay? But it's it's, it's because of this, this heart blockage, this, this, this forgiveness. Maybe somebody um, um, told you that you couldn't sing or or you, you couldn't do something or or you wasn't that good some somebody put something in your heart that you have you 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 digested for yourself and you have to forgive yourself for even accepting what somebody said to to kill your dream that's the thing you think that you have forgiven that person but you still haven't forgiven yourself for accepting the, the, that 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 foolishness that was said to you this is what's stopping you from embracing this freedom this is what's stopping you this this heart chakra uh is, is blocking you from going after your goals you know being persistent be i i feel like somebody you know one one day you're 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 ready to to do something and then the next day you're not you know it's like it's like you, you're you're not stable in your decisions, but it's because of this blockage in your heart. Somebody hurt you. you, you you're in defense mode. Yeah, you, 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 you're scared. You're, you're protecting yourself. Look at this person. Look at this person. He's protecting himself with, with, with his armor. Like, like he's prepared for battle, but, but you're approaching a situation wrong. You see, see. It, and it's because of this blockage in your heart. You feel like you gotta approach something, you know, like you know, ready to attack. Like. Oh no! Oh no! Like, but but it's it's because of something that's going on in your heart. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But it's some new beginnings. I'm sorry. It's some new beginnings. My throat is drying up. It's some new beginnings coming towards you, and it's because of the actions you're going to take after watching this video. Because you're going to understand that nothing went wrong in my life. I didn't make bad decisions. I made the right decisions. And it led me to be in who I am today. Ready to embrace this new beginning. Ready to enjoy what's coming towards me. Like, you, you got to start speaking life over yourself. Change how you speak about what you're coming into. See, see, uh, 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 springtime wants to wants to bless you springtime wants to uh, uh bring up sprout up a, a new harvest inside of you and around you but you have to allow it okay you have to embrace and enjoy this new beginning of yours um 
and you do that by forgiving yourself understanding that yeah you you had to you had to forgive past people the people that you love the people that you hold close and dear to you you have to forgive those people but first you got to forgive yourself for even allowing those people to have some type of effect on you you know what i'm saying it's like the wisdom behind forgiveness you know you you have to accept what happened see somebody doesn't doesn't understand that you have to accept everything that happened everything that played out you, everything that happened you you just had to accept you can't change it so what is the what is the point of of not accepting it it happened what is the point you, you're not changing nothing not accepting it you're just holding yourself back you're just delaying something your blessings delaying your new levels delaying what's coming towards you somebody broke your heart okay that's life the heart wouldn't understand how to love is it if it wasn't broken open broken op broken open broken open <laughs> the heart wouldn't understand love if it, if it wasn't broken open okay so you had to go through those heartbreaks you had to meet those F boys and, and F girls. You know what I'm saying? You had to meet these people that was going to, you know, uh, 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 lie to you, cheat on you, steal from you. You know what I'm saying? You had to meet these narcissistic ass men or women. You had to meet these, these, uh, these robbers and, and these thieves. Like you had to meet these wolves in, 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 in sheep's clothing. You, you had to, you had to get real close to them. You had to love them. The pain had to be great. Because understand, in order to have the heart of Christ, you had to endure some type of pain, understanding that that pain that you're enduring is the same type of pain God is enduring. And even though somebody is doing that to you, you made God feel that way, no matter what it is. This is why I'm able, I'm telling you, I'm able to accept people for who they truly are because I'm able to accept all of me. I know I'm not perfect. I know I don't make the best decisions all the time. You know what I'm saying? I understand um, 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 imperfection. I understand the, 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 the thrive to be different and to, to be better. I understand it all because I went through all of these cycles. So I love everybody at, at every journey, because, at every level, because I was there. I was at that level. See, I, I, I was at this level where I was angry and I was, you know, cursing everybody out. Oh, if you go on my Facebook, oh, especially the Christians and all that other stuff, I was mad. But, you know, I woke up and I was, I was, it was a, it was a shock, like, what is this? I'm in the twilight zone for real. You are now entering the twilight zone. That's exactly what this S is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was upset, but I didn't stay there. I understood the heart. I, I, I have a heart. I, under, I understand people because I understand myself. And somebody has to understand if you want to advance it's the heart that has to change. It's the heart that has to be able to accept everything that has happened, good or bad. Every decision that you have made, good or bad. Baby, I don't look like none of the decisions that I have made. And I am grateful for that. Know that this is, this is imperfection at its best. Woo! People, people front want to be so perfect. Get away from those people. Those people are lying. They're stealing from you. They're thieves. Okay? Coming like a, They come like thieves in the night. They're stealing from you. Don't ever fall for nobody trying to act perfect. No. 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 The brokenness of you is what helps you shine. 
is what is what the light where the light can 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 come out of and go into you you have to be broken to be freed you you don't get out of jail until the, the it's open you're broken free you, something has to open something has to break apart something can't be it can't stay together it can't stay the same understand in order to move forward there has to be a release a set and free of who you truly are, but who you truly are is hidden behind unforgiveness of self and still holding on to things and, 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 and traumas from childhood, you know, teenage, you know, adolescence, you know, things that happen to us in, in high school and things that happen to us in college. We still holding on to these things, I'm telling you those things hinder it hinder you from truly coming into who you tr who you are. You have to be able to accept people for who I had to be able to accept people for who they truly are. Especially if you want to be accepted, you got to give the same energy out that you want to get back. It just is what it is. So bam, damn, thirty minutes. Okay, we're gonna get into these cards. Okay, I ain't gonna be up here too long. <laughs> Man, anyway, it's time. So new, 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 new beginnings are happening, and I'm telling you, once you free this heart, I, I feel like um um this this new beginning for you is 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 destined. It's cosmic, right? Something has to change. It's it's happening. You see it in your dreams. You see it in the in the um the astral plane. You you it's like you know something great is coming towards you. I'm seeing a new house, a new location. I, I'm I'm seeing just this. A sudden change, a change in your environment, a change in your the people that you're around. It's going to be such a celebratory energy that you're in, just this this new life that you're coming into. And it, and I feel like it it comes after the forgiveness. And even if you you you're in this energy where you are forgiving yourself and forgiving others and and just and truly releasing and letting go, let that song minister to your soul. But also because you're doing that, I'm telling you, you have beat. You you have beat that test. You have you have won that 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 round that level. Now you get to enjoy life. Now you get to truly chase after your goals. Now I feel like um, something is protecting you. Uh, somebody is a divine masculine wants to protect you. Um, somebody wants to protect you as you go after these goals. Something somebody is coming to fight with you and for you. Oh, somebody is going to fight so you can be able to embrace your tr your inner gypsy, so you can be able to truly be free. So, so, e even in the spiritual realm, your ancestors. Uh, uh, um, Mm, somebody's ancestors was really into music. Maybe they sat around outside and played the, the guitar and, 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 and sung around the fire or whatever. I'm seeing um, uh, maybe Indian descent or some type of uh, uh, Chinese maybe descent. Um, but I, I'm, I'm seeing some type of Oh, I'm seeing some type of energy that, that that wants to stop you from, from going after your goals. So even, see, the thing about it is, this is why you need to forgive and and, 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 and really, you know, get into this energy of, of letting go of past hurts and, and, and truly forgiving yourself and moving forward. Because as you stay in that energy, as you, as your heart um, chakra stay blocked, it's like you, you still... Um, because it's like energies around you that doesn't want you to go after these goals. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, maybe jealous people around you, just watchers, people standing there watching you, you know. I'm seeing people just, uh, 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 you know, acting like they're, they're, they're going to fight with you, but they're just standing around. And it's like you're, you're really ready to go after doing something. And people are just like, oh, yeah, we're ready too. But they're not really ready. They're just there, onlookers, watchers. I'm seeing some people just talking, but you're just ready to go. And your ancestors are ready, your ancestors are, are ready to go. And it's an energy that is, is trying, that wants to come against you and stop you. But they can't. You're, you're so protected. You're, it's, they're so blocked off. It's like it's a, a 
cloud around you that they can't even penetrate. It's, it's something that can't even get through to you. So this is your confirmation to just go, keep going forward. Nothing is blocking you at this time. Nothing is, nothing is hindering you at this moment. You are protected by some type of cloud, okay? Oh, a cloud, a, a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Oh yes, you are being protected and guided at this time. Yes, you are to enjoy and embrace your, your freedom. So, um, and I, like I said, I'm seeing a masculine that's going to help you enjoy, embrace your, your freedom, or it can be a feminine energy coming to help a masculine enjoy, embrace the freedom. Or maybe this is what these two energies are going to do together because of uh, they're, they're both looking at each other in, in both these cards, like the masculine is looking at the feminine and the feminines are looking at the masculine. So, um, so maybe these two energy, they, they're going to help each other. Like somebody is going to help somebody put down their guards and somebody's going to help somebody embrace who they truly are. Yeah. Because with this open to love. So just, just, um, it's, it's, I'm seeing somebody blocked off to love because maybe, um, you, you were unfulfilled at one point. Um, you were dealing with something that was just unpassion. It was no passion. Like, um, it wasn't what you wanted. Right. So now you're at, you're in this energy where you're, you're kind of like, you know, you, you, you would, yeah, you, you want love, but it's like, you know, you don't want, you want something that's meaningful. You want something that has depth. Right. Um, But I'm still seeing the, the past, something holding you back, something that's making you like, you know what, I don't. But the thing about it is whatever is coming towards you is a soulmate connection, right? Whatever is coming towards you, I feel like you had to leave something behind. Yeah, because it was some type of tower moment that had you truly um, sad, depressed, down. Somebody had you sad, depressed, down. Somebody didn't see you for who you truly are who you truly were and it was some type of sudden change okay and, and this sudden change truly uh affected you right it affected how you received love how you gave love how you approached love and you're still in that energy even though you're even though you, you feel like you're open to love you're still in that energy you're still in defense mode like you're not truly open because you're still holding on you, you still think that you're in an energy where mother's going to bring you something that's unfulfilling. You know, you, you, when you was a child, you thought like a child, but you went through things. So now you are, you have ascended in consciousness. You, you understand the wisdom behind forgiveness, right? You understand that you didn't make wrong choices. You didn't, this, this, this wasn't a setback for you. This was a setup for you. So, so you can come up. Hello. Somebody about to boss up. I feel like this this somebody is 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 going to truly boss up with with some type of relationship because it's going to be filled with so much passion and love, like something that that was never felt before. Two energies truly given to each other. Okay, so you have to forgive these past these past exes and these past energies and and people that hurt you, people that you really thought that loved you and and was there for you and was going to truly. Um, like, like, like they, they were never going to leave you. Like, I feel like somebody thought like they found their one, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a karmic energy. It was some lessons that you still had to learn, right? You, you, even, how did you, how could you feel like this person was the one and you was always in defense mode? You always had to fight. You always had to defend yourself. You always had to, you know, it was, it, it, it came down to some type of battle. It was like, it was never kind of, it was, it, it was always some type of battle. You know what I'm saying? So why would you feel like this person is the one? No, life is not meant to, you're not meant to, to, to do life like that with somebody. If, if that's the case, you can be by yourself, right? I feel like that's what somebody feels like too. Like, if, like, I don't, I'm not about to put up with all of this stuff. So, so you see how you're open, you feel like you're open to love, but you're still like, no, I like, it's whatever. It's like, no, that's, that's, it's, it's not an open. There's still some type of blockage because somebody is, that is open to love is willing and, and, and ready to move forward and, and willing and, re and ready to say, okay, this is what I want to do. Not, not in their head, contemplating and, and worrying. You if there is still some type of worry, there's still some type of, uh, uh, of releasing that needs to happen from the past. Okay. When you thought like a child, you made childish decisions, but now you are an adult, okay? So um, 
I feel like this this new connection that's coming towards you, like I said, it's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of love. Okay, very fulfilling. Oh, I'm saying that it's going to be um, like luxurious. It's like I'm seeing I'm seeing robes. I'm seeing I'm I'm I don't, I'm seeing outside with with, uh, 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 with the robes on and drinking um, mimosas with the sun shining or something. I'm seeing. I don't know. I'm seeing some type of olives hanging out the, the, the cup. So maybe, I don't know, some type of fruit drink or something. I don't know. It kind of looked nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing mad happiness. I'm seeing joy. I'm seeing just... I'm seeing the sun. Just very success. You're coming into a very successful period, a very successful time. Um... And it's time to enjoy it. It's time to, I feel like um, this spring, summertime, spring, summertime, something is going to be completely different. Something is going to be completely different. Yeah, you're going to be on a whole new spiritual journey. Yeah, I feel like you had to, yeah, you had to leave the past behind. You see, oh, okay, wow. I'm saying that this, you're moving towards something very, very passionate. See, what, the devil card is, you know, is a lot of passion as well. It's like um, two energies that just, it's a lot of fire and desire. And um, with this wand, this page of wands, I'm seeing that uh, both energies are going on, are going to be feeling this passion for each other together on this journey. Um, somebody uh, is tired of fighting. Yeah, somebody wants to put their guard down. And, you know, maybe you met somebody and you feel like, um, maybe, you, you know, you, you don't, want, you don't want to fight no more and you need to forgive. Okay. So maybe there's a, re a relationship with two people that's already together, um, both in some type of toxic energy. I have to learn how to forgive in order to move on. You can't half forgive a person. And I feel like somebody was half forgiven. And this is probably why mother wants somebody to move on to something different. Yeah. Somebody wants, mother wants you to offer your pinnacles and your love to, to something, to, to what she's, what she's presenting to you because some, somebody was in some toxic energy around you and they couldn't love you the way that you needed to love they couldn't see you for who you truly were all right and the passion that uh that you have that 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 you guys had together it was some type of to toxic it wasn't it wasn't pure it was some type of toxicity that was uh that was um you know along with it so mother is is offering you something new. It show, it's, wants you to embrace this this new connection that she's bringing towards you. I feel like you're moving towards something very slow because you're understanding now. You're seeing that I got to get away from toxic ways because you're you're ascending in your consciousness. I'm, I'm seeing somebody's coming into truly who they truly are. And once you start seeing things for who and what it, it truly is, you can make the proper decisions moving forward. And this is why you got to understand. You, as you move forward, you're not making the same decisions as you were making in the past. That's what I'm saying. This is why you got to forgive yourself for those past decisions because you're not even there no more mentally, physically, emotionally, and you're still allowing those thoughts to hold you back. Why? You're completely different, okay? So accept and embrace this new love that is coming towards you, okay? Even this new love for self. I'm seeing somebody who is truly now able to accept accept themselves all the colors of their lives you know what i'm saying i'm saying somebody was so concerned about the outside of what other people are going to say but now you're like eff it i'm just going to be me do me say what i want to say be who i want to be um wear what i want to wear dance how i want to dance sing how i want to sing write what i want to write it's like you you're not worried about what's going on around you no more you, you're going within you're you're understanding that your inner freedom and once that once you really tap into that inner freedom that outer freedom can truly shine through okay so i'm gonna end it right there because it'd be taking forever to upload on it on youtube <laughs> But um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, a heart that forgives is a heart that will live totally free from the guilt and the shame of the past. Let your past go. Forgive yourself, okay? It happened. 
it is the past for the reason for a reason okay um yeah so please like share and subscribe let's sh let's grow the um the g3 family if you want to book a personal all of my information is down below if you want to donate to your girl all my information is down below i would love that i will you know i thank you and i appreciate you and and yes i thank you in advance whatever and um yes so yeah um my instagram is there my facebook is there as well if you want to follow me um so yeah come on through and uh see you guys soon